star is fine. Considering that her stepmother is out messing around with the town preacher. We were just playing a game of chess here. And how dare you spy on me anyway? I wasn't spying. I just walked down the hallway. You know, the next time you might want to close the door. We had to clear the smoke out of the room. I burned a pie. How domestic. And didn't you eat enough pie at the diner? You said you didn't know where she was. Taya didn't want you to you know where she was. You get out of my was. face, all right? This is between me and You're her. Out of hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. I can handle him. Oh, really? You know what really makes me mad about this? Is that Blair was right. She had you two pegged from the beginning. The beginning of what? This little affair. Wait, uh, wait a second. Are you asking me to clarify what's going on here? Oh, no, thank you. I was a little curious, though. I didn't know how you were going to spend your time away. I mean, you were so mysterious about it. Well, now you know. I expected you to be a little bit more honest about it. Lord knows you've been brutally straight with me about everything else. I was honest, oh, actually. Oh, and I'm just supposed to know that when you say that you needed space to consider other options, that that meant that you wanted to shack up with a preacher for a few days? What are you watching? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I, I had tried to tape something off the, um, you know, the um, Discovery Channel. And uh, I honestly pushed the wrong buttons because uh, it taped uh, nothing. You and your wildlife shows, Mom. Wildlife. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, I really should watch all these videos that were rented before they have to go back. Uh, didn't you have a date with Christian tonight? Yeah, actually, I did. Um, would it be okay if we just hang out here, watch some TV, have some popcorn? Oh, yes, absolutely. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have any big plans for oh, this evening. Oh, I have very big plans, very big. I'm going to take a bath, and then I have to do homework. <laughs> homework? Uh-huh. Hmm, I did mine in study hall. Oh. It's weird to have my own mother having homework. It's weird, yes, it's weird. <laughs> How's Chris? Uh, frankly, he's miserable. <clears throat> he's very upset about his statue being vandalized, isn't he? Yeah, that's just part of it. Uh, sometimes life can just be so difficult. important. Hello. Are your children sleeping well, Mr. Holden? What? Who is this? Who is it? One Life to Live, brought to you. Max, where, where are the twins? They left the ladder outside. What? Who left what ladder? Somebody kidnapped my kids. Oh, my God. Was it, was it with the phone call? Was it... Yeah, a man's voice passed me, and my kids were slipping, okay? Well, did you recognize the voice? No. If you want your kids back, the price is five million in one hundred dollar bills. Frank. You have forty eight hours to raise the cash. Wait for instructions. We won't hurt your kids unless you go to the police. Be smart if you want them alive. Be stupid and you'll never see them again. Oh. All right, Max. Don't touch anything. I'm gonna go get Bo. No, go. no, no. We'll do exactly what they say, and that means no cops, and that means no Bo. 
it's bad enough to find out that Eli was the one that vandalized the angel, but to have Christian's own mother lie to him about it? Oh, uh, you know what? It was a terrible position that Carlotta was put in. Yeah, they had an awful fight. Obviously, she felt she had to protect Eli. Yeah, but what about Chris? Well, honey, Chris has been lucky, you know. He's had a lifetime of Carlotta's love, and I'm sure she was counting on that to get them through it. It was just a terrible choice to have to make. Yeah, well, she obviously chose Eli. Yes, but at the same time, she was showing just how much trust and faith she has in Christian's maturity and his good heart. She would never have risked it otherwise. He needs to know that. Maybe you could help him. I'm not sure if he's ready right now. I think he just needs to be angry. <laughs> That's quite an insight. Jesse, sometimes your understanding of human nature just astounds me. Yeah, well, guess who I learned it from? Oh! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you are so far ahead of where I was at your age. You can't even imagine. <laughs> Christian's very lucky to have you as a friend. He really is. Is that, um, what you are now? Are you friends? Or more? You are so subtle, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I don't know what we are, but do we have to have a label? No, absolutely not. Point well taken. When is Christian due? Any minute, actually. Um, do you mind if we use the library? No, go ahead. It's all yours. I'm going to pop down and say hello later on, but I think right now I'm just going to go and have a bath. And then I, uh... I'll bring my dinner up here on a tray and just watch TV. So what's it going to be tonight, chimps or whales? You're so funny. You're so funny. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to see this. You! Cat got your tongue? That's enough, Todd. Nobody's talking to you. Listen, if you think something, I don't know, secretive or immoral has gone on here, I suggest it's a reflection of your own dark, twisted soul. You think so? Oh, I know so. Unlike you, we have nothing to be ashamed of. You know, I wouldn't play the morality card right now, Reverend. Seems you've forgotten a few of the Ten Commandments. You shut up! Oh, hey, shut up! Stop it! I'm gonna mess up my shirt. Stop it! You gave me the shirt, isn't that right, honey? Just give it a rest, okay? Okay? This is my battle out in the hall now. Now. Hey, you sound like my second grade teacher. I don't think you want Andrew to hear what I'm going to say. <laughs> don't you ever order me around like that again. You just made a fool of yourself. Don't you give me that garbage about your spiritual counselor. Counselor. That's no way to behave, you putting your hand on the bishop's pawn. <gasps> oh, wow. What, the light finally starting to dawn? You really don't have any idea. Oh, no, I think I know exactly what's going on. You don't know why I am so angry. Oh, I do. Coitus interruptus. That's Latin. <sighs> what we have is a sad failure to communicate. Oh, I think you've heard me loud and clear. Well, now you're going to hear me. <laughs> loud and clear. Talk! You have no right to behave this way. And I don't mean a moral right. I mean you have no legal right. Oh, no. We have a contract, you and right, I. We do, and I'm going to hold you to it. Well, then maybe you'd better go home and take another look at it. I can live my life, and that's exactly what I was doing. Just so long as you don't rub my nose in it. Your nose shouldn't be anywhere near this apartment. Anybody could have walked down this hall and seen you. Doing what? Playing chess? You weren't just playing you, chess. You know what? It doesn't matter. Because whatever Andrew and I were doing, it is none of your business. Oh, really? How you figured that? Because I'm not your wife. <laughs> I admit I was a little confused there for a while. I thought we might actually be able to make ourselves into some kind of weird family for Star's sake. But then you made it very clear that I'm nothing but well-paid set decoration for your little farce as Star's perfect parent. Well, I'm glad that you finally figured it out. Yes, I did. And now I'm trying to make the situation as palatable as I can for myself. Right. And to hell with me.
I guess you'll do whatever you need to do, and I won't ask any questions either. That's our deal, isn't it? Right. So we agree. Yeah, looks like it. So why were you checking up on me? Well, I finally have a hold of Star again, and I'm not going to let you screw that up just because you want to satisfy your libido. I went out a window for you to have your little girl. Do you, you remember? Want from me, Taya? Huh? You you don't you want more money? You want better terms? No. Well, what is it? You you, you <laughs> want to be able to hold me in breach of contract so you can quit and still keep my money? No. Well, then what is it, Taya? You want to spell it out for me? Listen carefully. Because this is the truth. Our deal is fine the way it is. I've accepted it. I won't try to change it or back out of it. Why? That's a good question. Well, um, because for some reason, I've made a commitment to this whole situation. A much bigger commitment, it seems, than you've been willing to make so far. Don't you think I would if I could? Suddenly, my life is about Eli. How'd that happen? Oh, I guess he's high maintenance, huh? You can say that again. I mean, the boy needs a keeper, not a parent. Maybe he'll settle down. Or maybe he'll just wreck something else that's really important to me in my life. Like my relationship with my mother. You know, when, when Antonio went to California, I knew she was gonna miss him. So I figured that I, I would be able to make up for that. But I guess it wasn't enough. And now here's Eli taking up so much space, there's no room for me. Christian, maybe he takes up a lot of our time, but he'll never take away our love for you. You want to bet? How many fights have we had already? Christian, families disagree. That doesn't mean you stop loving. This kid is like a bad dream. He won't go away. So I guess you're just going to have to learn to live with him, huh? Hey, look, I can stay out of Eli's way. But if Mommy wants Eli, then she cannot have me. It shouldn't be like that. She needs you, and you need her. Well, tough. Just she lied to me. I've never known her to lie about anything in my whole life. I guess we want our parents to be perfect. It's hard to accept that they're human. She's driving me crazy. Well, I have just the thing to take your mind off it. <clears throat> oh, Romeo and Juliet, oh, give me a break. Christian, um... it's not what you think, really. Jess, I'm really not in the mood for Shakespeare tonight. I mean, can we watch something more modern, you know? This is modern, and Christian, it got great reviews. Please, I've been wanting to see it for so long. All right, I guess it won't kill me to watch it. Good. I've made popcorn and everything. Here, put this in the VCR, let the previews go, and I'll be right back. Okay. Just a couple of them. I bet we didn't hear a thing. Oh. <laughs> but Bud did. He was barking. He was trying to get our attention. I knew he was trying to tell us that something wasn't right. Well, if that's going to happen, then they've got a really big head start. Max, that is all the more reason you need to call the police while you still have time. Time for what? Time for him to kill my kids and leave them beside the road someplace? No, that's exactly what the kidnappers want you to think. Now, you can't play right into their hands. I'm do this my way. <laughs> Max. Please, look, I understand what you're going through. Remember, Star was taken from me, all right? And I would have done anything, no matter how crazy, to get her back. But, look, I also know that when you're in a panic like this, you can't think clearly. Now, why don't we call the police? This kind of thing is their job. That's right. It's a job to them, but it's not my job. It's my life. 
I'm not taking any chances with my kids. Max, if you do this alone, you're going to be taking a very big chance. Yeah, well, I'm taking the best chance I got. No one else loves those kids the way I do, and no one's going to lay down their life for them the way I will. I'm going to get those kids back. If it takes everything I've got, no matter what I have to do, I'm going to get them back. You hear me? Okay. What do we need? We need... What? Five million dollars in 48 hours. Max, five million dollars? How are you going to raise that amount of money? I got some of my money? savings account. I got some IRAs. I got some five million stocks dollars the bonding agency. I like, took out a second on Serenity Springs, but I still have some equity but in that. Max, I took out a loan against my share of roadies. I've got, I don't know if I got anything there. Let's see, I'm leveraged heavily. I've had water from poverty to pay off him. Damn him. Okay, but it's still worth something. It's still worth something. The right person. Okay, now what else? I've, I've, uh, ski lodge. That's right. The ski lodge. Max, would you please call the police? Put it down. These, these are things. These could be replaced. My kids can't be replaced. I know that, Max. Look, I promised but... Luna that I would protect her babies. And I'm going to keep my promise. Now, I've failed a lot of people in my life. I've let a lot of people down that are important to me, but I'm not going to fail my kids. I know that, Max. And you won't. And Frank and Leslie, wherever they are, they know that too because their daddy has always been there to pull them through. That's right. Max, are you sure that this is the way you want to do it? The only thing I'm sure right now is that my kids are out there somewhere in the dark with someone that shouldn't even be trusted to take care of a dog. So I'm going to do whatever they say. I'm going to put together five million dollars. I'm going to do whatever they tell me. And then once I have my kids back, I will hunt them down, the miserable bastards, and pay them back for this. Someone else, Max? Sort of. I thought you were going to jump us there for a second. Oh, uh, why are you here? Nice to see you too, Max. Honey, I told you this was not a great idea. Don't mind us. We're just leaving. No, no, no. He's just being a poop. Come on. He'll get over it. Look at me. I'm on a crutch. Thought I'd try this out in court, see if I can elicit some sympathy. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So, we uh, paid Max a visit, got you out of the house. Uh, she's a little stir-crazy, you know, with this sprained ankle thing. And... Yeah, wait, well, look there, honey. There's Mud. He's uh, just feeling great, happy as a clam or whatever. She also feels guilty about the dog. I don't feel I wouldn't call that guilt. I really wouldn't. I hope he hasn't chewed on anything major, you know. But he's a great watchdog. No one can come within 10 feet of the house without you knowing about it. Say good night, Max. Good night, Blair. We'll show ourselves out. We know the way. Come on, let's go. Look out. Come on. Tell him, Max. He's left? Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm not really in the mood to play chess. No, I figured that. Listen, I shouldn't have gone for his throat, and it's only making things harder on you than it already. Look, I'm so I'm sorry, Tay. I'm sorry. What just happened was a lot harder on Todd, oddly enough. That implies he has feelings. If he were more in touch with them, maybe he wouldn't cause so much trouble. He's not, and he does. <laughs> And I knew all that going into this. You told me, Rachel told me, but did I listen? Well, actually, you did listen. I remember a conversation we had on a certain park bench. You laid out the proposal. I told you exactly what I thought of Todd, and frankly, you seemed to weigh the pros and cons pretty carefully. <sighs> God, I was so smug. I thought I could treat this as just another job, you know, take the money and run. Well, I, for one, am glad you can't because it confirms my initial opinion of you. I'm sorry it has to hurt, Taya. I don't handle failure very well. Listen, Taya. Now, listen to me. This is not your failure. This is a man 
that brings trouble on himself no matter what. Unfortunately, you happen to be along for the ride this time. Yeah. It's a little like being on a boat going down the rapids without a paddle. I can't get out midstream, so I wait and pray that we wind up near shore so I can get out. Meanwhile, I, uh, I keep bailing. Heck of a metaphor. Oh, what else can I do? He doesn't want my support. He won't take my advice. He's not even crazy about my company, except when he can't have it. What if you jump ship? What if somebody was there with a life jacket for you? Come on, you're a good swimmer. There is no reason to stick with this. Taya, you are at risk. You're at risk in a leaky boat. Maybe I'm afraid Todd can't swim at all. What do you... What, are, do you feel some kind of a responsibility to save this man from himself? No, I'm not that arrogant. I don't know. I'm afraid for him. Uh, yes. He's smart, and he's a survivor. But he's also a profoundly sad person. Oh. You did not make him sad. And I, I don't think you're going to be able to make him happy. I realize that. You know something? There are times in a person's life when you've got to be selfish. You've got to do what you need to do for you. And in the long run, in the long run, I have a feeling it ends up being better for everyone that's involved. Would you have said that to Cassie a year ago? Probably not. I have a feeling someone else did. Well, Kevin, <laughs> he had his own motives. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to equate our situations. Yours was a real marriage. Once upon a time. At least you tried to be the best husband you could be. <gasps> Maybe I should say the same for Todd. <gasps> he just doesn't have a clue, Andrew. Maybe. Maybe this guy sees that he has a sweet deal that he doesn't want to give up. You know, maybe he realizes that he can get everything he needs from you and he doesn't have to give you a thing in return. The man is very calculating. But ultimately, it's up to you. Uh, Jessica! Yeah. Oh, oh, I hope you're hungry. Uh, yeah. I guess I went a little overboard. Uh, no, 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 that's, that's, that's okay. I didn't miss any of the movie, did I? Jess, are, are you are you trying to tell me something? Like what? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Turn this off! How could you? Me? You're the one who picked out the tape. No, I picked out Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Yes, I know, but I thought this was a modern version you were talking about. No, that is disgusting. Why'd you sit there and watch it? I thought I, I don't know. I thought you know that you wanted me to watch it for some special reason. <laughs> what reason? Yeah. Uh. All right, all right, all right, look. The video store just made a mistake, okay? Maybe they just put the wrong tape in the box. Hey, you think you're upset? We imagine the guy who actually got Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> that is not funny. I know, I know. I, ju I, just, I just meant that. Uh... I know what you meant. Look, this tape is probably illegal, and if it isn't, it should be. But I can't believe you sat there and watched that. I guess you don't, you know, just want to pick out another tape and start over. Do you want me to stay or go? I'm just really upset. Uh, do you mind? Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I am sorry, really. Yeah, I'm sorry I suggested it was you. I'm sorry I suggested you planned it. But you know what? For about 10 minutes there, I wasn't thinking about Eli or my mother. So, uh, thanks. Mother. Mother.
Jesse? I thought I heard the doorbell. Is Christian downstairs? No. Something happened? Yes. You want to tell me about it? Why do you have a pillow over your head? Because there's no point in asking not to be born. That bad, huh? Worse. Much, much worse. Well, you want to give me a blow-by-blow? Blow? Ah! Jessica, sweetheart, I don't think I can help you if you're going to beat around the bush like this. This has got to be the worst moment in my whole entire life. Well, what on earth did Christian do to upset you like this? He put a tape in the VCR. He didn't. I don't get it. Okay. I was in the kitchen getting us some popcorn, right? We were going to watch Romeo and Juliet. I thought we were going to watch Romeo and Juliet. I got it from the stack of videos right next to your TV. <sighs> but when I came back from the kitchen, <clears throat> I saw this. Oh, oh my God, you're not going to believe what I saw, Mom. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I wanted to die right there. The video store made a very, very, very big mistake. Oh, Jessica. No. No, the video store did not make a big mistake, honey. I did. That tape was mine. Tell us what? Nothing, nothing. Uh, Blair's just... She's just jumping the gun a little bit. Something we're not quite ready to share, okay? Sorry. They are your friends. And that's I... why they will understand. Okay? I'm really good at reading between the lines, but I think I'm in a whole different book here. Now, believe me, you two will be the first to know if and when. You want us out of here? I guess that's why they made you police commissioner. I think we should take a hint. Mud, mud, come easy, on, easy, mud, easy, mud, stop it. Mud, easy, Where's easy. the air no linen? Now it's my purse, mud. I think he wants you to stay, no, Nora. he's got this thing for Nora. Oh, I'll hold him. Okay, out, 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 come on, come on, come on. I know sit, it's a lot sit. to handle, but he's a great watchdog. I don't have anything left to steal. I bet the twins love him. Anything wrong, Max? No, 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 I just, I'm just sorry. I'm just trying not to be rude. We're, we're in the middle of something. Is there anything we can do to help? No, it's just business. Well, why didn't you say so? Sorry, it's no problem. We'll leave. I'll limp right on out of here. Bye. That was weird. That was a mistake. And I think you're out of your mind. Thank you very much. Day. Oh, Jesse. God, I understand your reaction to seeing that tape. I, I can't tell you how sorry I am that this happened. You, you watched that oh, tape? No, no, I did. Well, I saw a few minutes of it. No, that's... Is, is that what sex is like? Because I... No, no, no. Oh, honey, sit down. No, I have... I have tried to explain to you so many times. When two people love each other, sex is, is a wonderful, it's a beautiful, it's a blessed thing. It's the ideal. Yeah, well, that tape was definitely not the ideal. No. Did, did you rent that? I mean, oh, yourself? no! No! Oh, brother. Um, I have to talk to you, okay? Honey, the tape was given to me by my therapist, Dr. Maud. Now, this has nothing, nothing to do with you, I swear to you, okay? I went to see Dr. Maud for myself. She's going to try to help me get in touch uh, with my sexual feelings. Uh, yeah, well, I do have them. I mean, I'm not that old. 
Unfortunately, they became rather more complicated after I found out what happened to me when I was a little girl. You mean? Yes, when I found out what my father had done to me, okay? Sweetheart, as a result of recollecting the abuse, it's like I took all my feelings of a sexual nature and put them in a little drawer somewhere inside myself, you know. And I guess I seem to have lost the key. I, I, you know, that was fine for a while, because I was, I needed healing. But now I've, I've decided that I don't really want to spend the rest of my life being a totally non-sexual person. Does, um, Dad have... No, no, no. I mean, Daddy knows that I'm seeing Dr. Maud, and, and he... I mean, he certainly would like me to resolve the problems, you know, but I'm not doing this for Daddy, okay? I'm doing this for me. Doing what? Hm. Well, seeing a therapist. You know, Dr. Maud. I had my first session with her today, and um, she gave me that tape as, as a kind of a, an exercise, you know. And sweetheart, you know, she's a lot more than just a writer. She's a doctor. She's a real doctor. She's a clinical psychiatrist. And she just wanted me to, you know, look at the tape and record my responses. Uh, Mom, that tape, that tape is pornographic. Well, um, they, they refer to it as explicit. Yeah, well, whatever it is, it's disgusting. <clears throat> it, it's graphic, okay, and it's not subtle. Oh, honey, it's just plain old sex, that's all it is. That's the problem, you see. It has no emotional content whatsoever. It has nothing to do with making love. It, it's not even an approximation of what one can experience when, when everything is right. So this is why you make such a big deal about me and sex, right? Oh, baby, I try very hard not to make a big deal about it. No, no, it's okay. I just never understood until now. You don't want anything to happen to me, so that I'll have to tuck it away inside me someplace, right? No, I surely don't. But I don't want you to have to hide away your feelings either. So if Dr. Maud is going to help you, I'm glad. But that tape, oh, I... Honey, sweetie, sweetie, forget about the tape. It's really not important. You know, it's just a tape. Believe me when I tell you, when the time is right and all the elements are in place, when you have trust and respect and love and joy in each other, making love is a wonderful experience. <laughs> Glass on! Oh, stick it in your beak. You know what I like about you? At least you know what you want. I mean, you want clam sauce? You ask for clam sauce. Maybe you get clam sauce. I mean, there's no complications. I mean, you compare that with Taya Delgado, right? Who, who doesn't really want what she says she wants, e even if she could get what she says she wants, which she won't. And you'd think after, you know, years of legal training, she'd be able to get her mind around that, but she can't. But you can, huh? I guess it's not so bad being a bird brain. Are you referring to Moose or to yourself? Well, look who's back. You didn't really think you'd get the last word, did you? Well, I kind of hoped I would, but I guess not. You drop a rather cryptic bombshell on me and then turn around and walk off. Years of practice. Yeah, well, maybe I don't intimidate as easily as other people, or maybe I care more. Either way, we're going to finish what we started. Ah! Oh, that's right, Moose. Get out of the way, because feathers are going to fly before we're finished. Lucky I don't have time to stick around and wring your neck for that little scene with Bo and Nora. You want to help? Stay out of my way. 
Tessa, please, I will do anything you need. Just... Then keep your mouth shut. Okay, I, I'll, I'll do that. I, I will. I mean it. I need someone to stay by the phone in case they call. Okay, I, look, I'll, I'll spend the night. I'll do whatever you need. Just if they call, what do you, what do you want me to say? You, you agree to everything they say. If they give you instructions, you take it down word for word. You be very nice and very polite so you don't spook them. Okay, you know, maybe I can get them to make a mistake. I mean, drop a... Don't try to be smart. I could take them away. I'll never hear from them again. Max, don't worry. Yeah. You're gonna get your kids back. Where are you going? To beg, borrow, or steal five million bucks. Last time I checked, this car wasn't a self-starter. You waiting for inspiration? Something is not right with our friend Max. Well, you can say that again. He's taken up with Blair. No wonder he wasn't interested in Georgie. Oh, he's nuts for that. He sure is. And I really resent being shoved out of the house so we could cuddle up with Blair. I don't know. Something is up. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Why was he trying to keep her so quiet? I don't know. He felt guilty. I don't think it was guilt. I think it was more like desperation. But what has he got to be desperate about? Something that he couldn't tell us. Why? And where is he going this time of night? I don't think Blair was with him. No. Interesting. Huh. Well, maybe he went out for pizza or something and Blair stayed with the kids inside sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. I just hope so, for Max's sake. But my gut's telling me something else. What's your gut telling you to do about it? <laughs> 